Hi everyone, it's Tara. So in my last video I shared with you how I created these shaker gift card holders and these were totally inspired by Shondi. If you didn't see that video, I will leave a link to her channel down below. But um, I made this with my fuse and I wanted to show you another way to create these with no fuse tool required. So it's super easy, so let's get started. Alright, you're going to start off with a 4x4 waterfall photo sleeve by We Are Memory Keepers and they look like this and I've had a couple people ask me where I got these these actually came in a kit but they are available on Amazon I'll leave a link down below but I would also suggest that you check your local craft stores because they might have them there but they look like this and so you're gonna fold your photo sleeve in half with the flap part on the outside so just go ahead and fold it in half and give it a nice crease like so and then you're going to take some of this red line tape and I'm not sure of the size but it's really thin I want to say an eighth of an inch maybe I'm not sure but it's this really thin red line tape okay and then you're gonna run that and I already have one done you're just gonna run it along the sides of that plastic sleeve like that and get yourself some sequins. I have some hot pink and light pink and silver sequins for this one. And then you're going to open it up. I always collect my sequins um, in little baggies first because just to see if I like the mix. Sometimes I'll, I'll add a color and I don't like it. And it's just easier for me to pull those colors out if I just have them in a little baggie first. So grab some sequins and I have some seed beads in here as well. And then just dump that in. Let's see. And then you just take that lining off of the tape and you want to be careful to line everything up and it's hard for me to see. Let me stand up. So you just want to line it up and I just give it a good press to make sure it's all stuck together. But that red line tape is really strong. It's a strong adhesive so it'll stay stuck. And that's it. Isn't, wasn't that easy? Super easy. And then I just went ahead and checked. Um, I just took my bone folder and ran it up along the sides to make sure everything's stuck good and it is. And so there you go. And then you can just stick your little gift card in, decorate the front, super easy. And then you have this back part here where you can add like a little message or something like that. So let me show you some of the other ones that I created. And I started playing around with different ideas. So this one, I did like a... I don't know if it's shabby chic, but I guess it could be. But it's just kind of like light pinks and iridescents and um, some fun little snowflakes in there and a bunch of seed beads. And then this is just um, a snowflake from the Dollar Tree. And I added my daughter's initial on here. And uh, pink, it's a thicker. I did have to add some glossy accents for it to stick to the snowflake, but I think that came out super cute. So that's that one. And then I made this one. And I started playing around with adding papers to the inside. So let me take the paper out. I love this color combination, the pink, the purple, and the turquoise. So I added a clear sticker here, a sparkly heart. And then I did add some bling to the bottom as well. And on the back, I used that Dollar Tree. This is where that flap is at. Use that Dollar Tree. Um, lace glittery ribbon or sticker <laughs> and so then I just added this little piece here and this is cut at four by uh, two and a quarter to fit in here and I just think it gives it a cute little background so I did that one and 
this one here and this one I just this is actually one of the um, cut aparts from that Echo Park paper story of Christmas so I just cut that down to fit these are the dollar store um, glittery trees and I added some wish my camera would focus and then I added some stickles little dots of stickles to make it look like the ornaments on the tree but I like the way this one came out super cute and then on the back again some more of that Dollar Tree trim and then lastly is this one I love the blue and the red together and there's some snowflakes in there really cute and another this is one of those Joann's sparkly stickers and then some bling trim here added just some paper and I did edge it with some um, what is this broken china distress paint just to give it some contrast and I think the papers look really cute behind behind it and then you have that back piece so you can add um, I'm thinking you can add the gift card where that little flap is at that second flap or you can just put it behind the paper like that and then also add a little piece here maybe if you want to write a message or something um, you know it's whatever you guys want to do I was just giving you ideas but I thought it was super cute to add the little paper behind it and you know always looking for a way to use up some of my paper <coughs> excuse me so yeah the only difference with this doing it this way and doing it this way with um, using the fuse you can't cut it down so it is a little bit longer let's see it'll show here so it is a little bit longer as you can see but the gift card still fits inside and it doesn't fall out. Where's the one with the gift card? This one. So yeah, the gift card still fits and it won't fall out. And yeah, so I think that your recipients will enjoy receiving these gift card holders with whatever gift card you have inside. I have some ideas that have been swirling around for different, um, like different themes and stuff. So I'm thinking like the movies, I don't know why, but when I think of movies, I think of red, black, yellow, and like silver. So if I wanted to do something like a giveaway, a movie um, gift card, I would like do those colors and maybe decorate it with some kind of movie theme or something like that. I don't know. But these can be used for pretty much anything. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think and let me know if you guys are going to make some of these. These are super easy using the tape. Um, I probably won't even break out my fuse anymore to, to create these because the tape is just so much easier. And, you know, when it's easy and fun, you want to do it more. So, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. Um, I have a few more projects that I'm going to be working on. And... So hopefully I'll be sharing those with you soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.